if there's one family among the Marwari business families that has acquired almost the status of royalty, it is the Birla family. Not just because of the vastness of its business empire, but because of the extraordinary qualities of one member of this family called Ghansham Das Birla, whose association with Mahatma Gandhi and whose role in nationalist politics during the freedom movement made him a larger-than-life figure. And it was here in this old-fashioned Gaddi in Calcutta's Bara Bazaar that his career as a businessman began. Ganshamdas Birla's grandfather, Shiv Narayan, came here to Calcutta's Bara Bazaar from the Rajasani village of Pilani in the 19th century. And like other Marwari businessmen of the day, began the family fortune by speculating in commodities that included opium. Family history books recount his skills at this and that by the time he introduced his son, Baldeo Das, to the family business, he was already a rich man. He built temples and schools in Pilani, and word of the family's wealth spread among the Marwari community even before Baldeo Das expanded the family business from this small room in Bara Bazaar. Baldeo Das had four sons, Jugal Kishore, Rameshwar Das, Kansham Das and Bridge Mohan all of whom were introduced to the family business at a young age. Whenever father came back to Calcutta, we were excited. And he brought with for us all kinds of things. All kinds means what? Fountain pens, pencils, a small camera perhaps, and all that. So we were always very excited to accept all these things. Actually, I must have met him somewhere in 1958 when I was engaged to my husband. But that, at that time, I was only 10 years old. So that meeting... You were engaged at 10? Yeah, I was 10 and my husband was 14. Uh, but I don't uh, remember meeting him earlier than 65 when we got married. What did you think of him? He, uh, you know, he used to love us unconditionally. Like he never expected anything back from us and a very fine human being and such a humble man like uh, you know he would after having done so much for the country and so much in his life he would never show any type of superiority in bara bazaar old retainers still talk of how the birla men ate their meals in this old fashioned kitchen two floors above the gaddi I feel um, very, very proud of the fact that uh, um, I had someone like um, G.D. Birla as my great-grandfather. Um, I spent a great deal of time with him. He passed away when I was about 15. Uh, and he lived with us uh, here in Bombay. Of course, he traveled a lot. Like we called ourselves, we called ourselves the best of friends. What did you learn from him? I think he uh, epitomizes uh, for me uh, selfless love because he just loved me uh, you know, no end and with no expectations um, from me. Um, and, uh, you know, he was very particular about small things, uh, being groomed the right way for the right occasion. He kept asking me, I hope you take all your decisions yourselves and it's not your mother who's taking decisions for you, things like that. So I think that he helped shape, um, you know, all of us in his own unique way. Jiri Birla was brought to Calcutta and introduced to the family business as a boy of 16 and quickly showed that he was more industrialist than speculator. My father was not interested in speculation of any kind. He started industries. First, you see, unit he bought in 1918, a cotton mill in Delhi. Then, within a period of four years, he started a cotton mill in Gwalior, 
he started a jute mill here and he bought another mill in Delhi. So father was only interested, I don't think that in his whole life he has, he has done any speculation. But my uncle, one of my uncles, he, he was an expert in speculation. For me, he was my great grandfather, and he was um, someone who, you know, um, I could uh, drag with me to the aquarium uh, on a Sunday afternoon um, if I had nothing else to do and if he was free. Um, and I had none of this sort of, um, you know, halo around him. He set up textile and jute mills, and it was during the time of the First World War when jute gunny bags were much in demand for the trenches in Europe that he and his brothers accumulated a vast fortune. Once the Birla family fortunes were established, the ladies of the family who till then had resided mostly in Pilani in Rajasthan were brought to, to Calcutta and to this day the older members of the Birla family live here in Birla Park. Had Gigi chosen to remain a mere businessman, he would have been legend enough. But in the early 20s, Gandhiji came to Calcutta, and among the young Marwari businessmen he met was Gigi. So inspired was Gigi by Gandhiji that he and Jamnalal Bajaj physically pulled his carriage through Calcutta's streets. It was the beginning of a long association. My mother expired when father was only about 32. Before the expiry of my mother, Mahatmaji advised father that you should not again you see marry. On the advice of Mahatmaji, yeah, I was agreed. Then Mahatmaji told him that you should take a vow in front of your wife, which he did. So he was a man, very strong character, character. He had his own ideas, honesty, integrity, honesty, these were his special features. Gandhiji's influence brought G.D. Birla into national politics and it was in his house on the 30th of January 1948 that the Mahatma was assassinated. You know, I was in Birla house in Delhi because I was, I had TB. And so the doctors told me to be at the dry climate. At that time, there were no medicines about to be. And I was staying in the upstairs room. Gandhiji was downstairs. And he used to have his prayer meeting every day, 5 o'clock. And I used to be in my room and listen to his prayer meeting. And I thoroughly enjoyed it. Every day, he used to come there at 5 o'clock, punctually. And that day, about five, seven minutes were out. And I could not hear the prayers. So I was just wondering what happened. Suddenly, the shot came. And I went to the window and saw from outside in the garden, everybody was running Hilton Skelter and all that. And uh, then I suddenly knew that there was something wrong. Then I came back in my room and went downstairs. By that time, Mr. they had brought Bapu's body in his room and uh, Jawaharlal Nehru and Sadar, who had just gone after meeting him, they came back and the whole world came. And it was a very bad experience. Gandhiji's influence on GD and his family was so deep that it was only with his consent that Basant Kumar and Sarla got engaged. It's, it, was, it is a romantic story. Actually, Mr. Billa and myself met first and then we decided that we should be engaged. So we went to Mahatma Gandhi and asked for his blessings and he was very happy. But still he said, you again consider and then we went out, we again thought about it and then we said, no, no, we have decided that we'll get engaged. And then he was very happy and then Ba, his wife, she brought kumkum and nariyal and all these things and put Tilak on my forehead, on his forehead, and then we were English. Cozy family, and we all loved each other, and uh, we stayed together, we dined together, we enjoyed together. 
Nothing very nice. Gigi Birla became a member of parliament and started the tradition of using...